guys, how's it going? I'm sure most of you that have been around this channel for a while recognize this tractor. This is my Cub Cadet 105. However, you haven't seen it in this condition yet. You're probably wondering, what happened to your Cub? What did you do? Well, you'll find out eventually. It was a wild goose chase to figure out a problem. So if you've been around the Cub Cadets for a while, especially the ones that have the Kohler Case Series, you may know that on some of the Cub Cadet models, they put the oil dipstick in the cam gear cover, as you guys can see on this tractor. And on some of them, they put the, can the uh, oil dipstick in the top of the block. Now, I wondered this for a while. I had people that asked me this, wondering if I knew why they did that. I recently figured out why. Um, this tractor is a 1968, 1968, 1969 Cub Cadet 105 with the, if I said 10 horse, I'd be lying. <laughs> it's supposed to have a 10 horse. We'll, we'll put it that way. <laughs> uh, you'll find out what it is here eventually on the channel. The 105s have a 10 horse Kohler K241, which is uh, what this one is definitely. <laughs> uh, we'll leave it at that. I'm giving out too many hints. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, this tractor has the oil dipstick in the can cover, as you guys can see. The reason for that, I actually recently talked to a guy who used to work at an international dealer where they sold these Cub Cadets and also the other Cub Cadet models. He told me that Cub Cadet did that. That way you would know if your engine had balance gears in it or not. You could specially order them with or without balance gears. If you ordered an engine with balance gears, the cam gear or the cam cover is where your oil dipstick would be. If you ordered the engine without balance gears, your oil dipstick would be up here in the top of the block where it most of the time is. And as you guys can see, you can take this, if you take a punch and you punch that out, you can take the, it's a freeze plug pretty much. You just pop that freeze plug out. Well, some people don't know what a freeze plug is. If you've been around a, what can I think of that has them commonly? If you've been around a big block Chevy, uh, let's say a 454, or if you've been around a, a uh, car engine, truck engine that is water-cooled, they have freeze plugs in the block. The reason for that, the freeze plugs will pop out of the block. That way, if it freezes inside, the water freezes in the block during the winter, it'll pop those out. That way, it tries to not damage the block. It won't block, it won't crack the block. It'll just pop out those plugs and drain whatever water is in that area out. I hope that's a good explanation for it because that's what I, all I can think of and how I can describe it. <laughs> um, so that is how you know if you have balance gears or not. I guess what he told me was they had a hard time getting the oil dipstick to go in if you had if the engine had balance gears, which I found kind of odd because I have engines that have balance gears in them. Well, did have balance gears in them. I got rid of them. And the oil fill tube was right there in the top of the block because I don't want to show it. Right here and right here is where the balance gears mount. And right here is the dipstick. It's back a little bit from the balance gears. However, it is fairly close. So, so yeah, uh, that is actually why they did that. And if you ordered the engine without balance gears, the dipstick tube would be up here instead of down there. If you were to take one of these Cub Cadet engines apart, one of these colors for a Cub Cadet apart, and pull the balance gears out. I have some cam covers upstairs. You just put a normal cam cover on there, get a normal dipstick tube, pop that out and press one of those dipstick tubes in, and there you go, you got a normal Kohler. 
So if you're wondering how, why they did that weird design, that's why I recently learned that. And I thought maybe I should make a video on it for you guys. That way, for those of you out there who don't know that, you can, you can uh, learn that. As well as just a little sneak peek of my cub and what has been going on to it. I have had several people ask me for another video on this Cup Cadet. How it's been, what I think of it, and um, just working on it again. So I figured we would go on ahead and get back into it. I'd give you a sneak peek of what has been happening with it. So there you go. <laughs> it's back on the channel again. All right, guys. With that being said, I want to thank all you for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something from this. Where the hell did that grill go? It was underneath of the tire. That's interesting. I'll have to look for it. All right, guys. Well, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys learned something from this video. I know I certainly didn't. And I will catch all of you in the next video if you stick around. Take care, guys. Bye.